its way. There they go. They're off and trotting in the inside four. Went together. It's Rama's pleasure. Forging to the first lead. Plesak trots on. Million dollar by. Magician is taking a seat. Hanko Angus is uh, giving Rick Zero on a big wrestling match in between trotters. Held three wide was Goldfish in good times. Saves ground and moved first to the inside lane. And John Campbell immediately set up shop on the front end for this mile and three-eighths test with Plesak. Rama's pleasure sits along in second. It's three more lengths to million dollar by in third. Magician closing his heavy post-time favorite is fourth. Then Hanko Angus, good times, and Goldfish trailed. They made the first quarter in 27-2. and two. In command at the front end tempo. First time in front of the grandstand is Plesak. That's Plesak making the early fractions. Here comes Magician. Miller moves him out from fourth. He's third, second, and trotting on, and Plesak is going to let him go. So here it comes again. Magician and Plesak, one and two. Rama's pleasure, sitting right there under a Stout rain to Trevor Ritchie from third. Then it's back to Million Dollar by in fourth. Hanko Angus, Zeron has had a tight rain on that one since the get-go in fifth. Good time, second to last, then Goldfish. The half-mile rating was 57 seconds flat. Magician made the move fourth to first in that second quarter and leads him up to the three-quarter mile marker with Plesak surrendering the lead, but is bravening up in second. Rama's pleasure sitting on the inside third. Million Dollar by is biding his time from fourth. Then Hanko Angus, good times, and Goldfish trailing. They pass three quarters, 127 and two, 30 and two fifths, a good breather for Magician on the front end there as they trot towards the mile mark in this mile and three eighths trotting classic final test. Magician up front since the halfway point. Plesak trotting along in second. Rama's pleasure remaining in from third. Million dollar buy has been following trip from fourth all the way. Hanko Angus, good times, is up and at it. Sixth and taken to the outside under a gain by Dave Wall. Goldfish starts to the outside from seventh. And they pass the mile marker in 157 flat magician and Plesak and good times rolling up on the outside. Rama's pleasure looking desperate to get out. Million dollar by flanked by Goldfish and Hanko Angus trailed and they come to the top of the stretch. Magician and Plesak and good times the top trio and from following in was Rama's pleasure. It's magician. Miller's trying to move him off on the field. He's got two lengths on Plesak. They enter the final eighth of the mile. The sprint on now, and here comes Plesak at Magician. Magician and Plesak is up to his wheel. Magician is digging in. Magician will take home the 2001 Trotting Classic Championship. Holding on over Plesak, and uh, Rama's pleasure was third in 240. The world record comes to Woodbine in Canada, and it was set by Magician. of last year when he won the Maple Leaf Trot defeating Moneymaker in the Woodbine in Canada record performance he remains the Woodbine track trotting record and Canadian record holder to this day, that's Magician 152-3 and three in the Maple Leaf Trot last year and he wins the 2001 Trotting Classic Final again here in Toronto the Royal Prestige six-year-old Bay Gelding from Incredible Charm Owned by William Augenstein of Plainview, New York, and trained by Earl Cruz, driven to victory by David Miller. Five wins in seven starts this year. Just missed a sweep of the Classic Series and the quarter million dollar bonus in 2001. But he's a winner at Woodbine tonight in the final with the presentation made by Mr. Hugh Mitchell of the Classic Series Championship Trophy. Senior Vice President of Racing for Woodbine and Mohawk and Woodbine Entertainment. Thanks to Hugh Mitchell for the trophy and winner circle presentation to the Classic Series champion, Magician and Connections. Stand by in a few moments. We'll go to our Greg Blanchard live in the winner circle. Final David Miller. It took a world record to do it uh, with Plesak breathing down your back again. Uh, did you have some flashbacks to last time at the Meadowlands? Yeah, that, that horse, he's got such a uh, huge kick. Uh, it's never safe when he's sitting that close. Let's talk about how the race did unfold. Uh, the added distance, did that change your outlook at all going in? Well, no, since he drew so well and everything, uh, I figured they'd line up, then I could retake and uh, then, you know, control the race, and it worked out just like I thought. 
He had a fantastic year last year. Some of his best moments were right here in Canada. We're going to take a look back here at the stretch drive. Just compare Magician to this point in the season as to last year. Is he uh, at the same level, maybe a little bit better? Well, I, I would say he's at the same level. Maybe he's just a hair better, but uh, uh, he's, he's going strong. All right, and we've also got uh, trainer Earl Cruz here with us now. And Earl, just quickly, uh, where are we going to see this guy next? Uh, next week he races in uh, Artie Cutler Memorial <clears throat> at Meadowlands. All right, we'll see him back here for the Maple Leaf Trot. Hopefully. All right, congratulations. Okay, thank you All very right. much. All right, that's Earl Cruz, the winning trainer, and Dave Miller, winning driver, magician. Uh, not much more to say about this guy. Dominant again tonight. Pays 250 to win, and congratulations again to the connections here in race number four, our first classic final of the evening. Race number five is on the way next.